Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. A lot of you guys were interested in an art supplies haul video when I did this little poll in the community tab. And that's why I decided let's do this today. Let's talk about all the different art supplies, different paints, papers, and chat about all the good stuff. And I can show you guys so many new things that I discovered, tested, and actually love already. And some other things you might have not heard about and maybe want to try it out yourself. I'm so happy to have you guys in my life. It's so difficult to find someone who is obsessed uh, or interested in art supplies. Amanda Rachelie calls it the help group of stationery addicts and we are, I guess, the art supplies addicts. Now keep in mind, I've been collecting all these things through I think the whole year, so it might look a lot, but it's for research purpose. I've been really interested in watercolors lately because I really wanted to learn more about this medium because there are so many different things to learn about pigments, different brands and other things like that because there are pigments that are bad but also pigments that are good and if you're completely new you don't know about it and I really want to dive in and learn everything that I can so I can help you guys out when you want to like learn more about it and expand your knowledge about that as well. And a lot of you guys might know that I've been using watercolors by the brand called Schmink. I think I've been using them for over 10 years now and I'm still loving them, I'm still using them. But I really wanted to test out more brands so I have a more broad knowledge about everything that is going on in the watercolor world. Not only will it make me more educated in this matter, but it can also help you guys to make a choice when you don't know what what colors you should buy or what brand is good and what is bad and what to look out for. And because a lot of people were talking about, not Will Smith, about Daniel, well, well probably about Will Smith as well, but, but Daniel Smith. And that's why I got an essential set by Daniel Smith. It has six different colors. It has cool yellow, cool red, cool blue, but also warm yellow, warm red and warm blue. So you can really mix any color you want. And I'm really happy so far. I used it in a few paintings and I have nothing to complain about. Colors are very pigmented, very saturated, and so easy to blend, so easy to mix. And I'm super happy with it so far. And because I wanted to see what other colors they have, maybe I want to add additional colors so I have more options to mix. I got a set of watercolor sheets with 238 colors and you can activate them with water and test them out and see if you like them and you can create a whole pages of swatches and see exactly how the color looks on paper. And I think it's great when brands offer something like that because sometimes you go to a store and you have all the tubes and pens and you have this preview of the colors. It's still difficult to decide do I really want it what's the difference between them and here you can see exactly if it's transparent if it's opaque if it's granulating if it's staining or not and then you can see exactly how the colors look on the paper up close and personal and a lot of you guys keep requesting that I should test out different watercolor sets and I'm not sure if I will be able to test out like everything that is in the whole wild world because there's just so many brands and sometimes it's way too expensive to buy it in Germany or it's just not possible to find it anywhere because not everything is being shipped to Germany. So I decided I will focus on the most popular brands that are out there that I can actually buy and get it shipped to my place. And one of them is the Shin Han Professional Watercolor Set. This brand is from Korea. I've never heard it before until someone mentioned it. So I'm very interested to see if they're any good because they're quite expensive here and maybe it's a lot cheaper in Korea. Another brand that I kept seeing on Amazon for like for the last half year, maybe it was promoted, it was featured, I don't know, like it was everywhere. And that's the Komorebi watercolor paint set. I tested out their watercolors, their metallic watercolors, and I really liked them. The only problem I had was the smell, it was really strong. And if you're very sensitive to that, it's not something I would recommend to buy. So I'm really interested to see if this watercolor color set is similar to that if it has any smell or anything like that how they perform because it says it's highly pigmented it's artist quality and it's not that expensive for 40 colors so I'm very interested to see how they perform and because I got so many comments in my last Indian art supplies testing video that I use student grade watercolors and I should really upgrade my game and get myself some artist grade watercolors I tried my best to find someone who ships it to Germany and I found someone. So that's why I got the artist watercolors by Kamel or Kamling Kokuyo. 
it's like this a whole different conversation because some people say it's camel some people say it's camelin but here we have both uh, on the front so i don't know i think that's the same and a lot of you guys said it's really good it's similar to winsor and newton i think so i'm very curious to see how they perform the next thing i got is this kuretake watercolor set also a lot of you guys said please test it out and i think that's such a beautiful package i got a set with 20 different colors because there are just so many different options how many you can buy and i didn't want to get too little but not too much so i have like a variety of different colors to test i think the difference to koritake and normal watercolors is that they're like they're made differently so it's not exactly the same as regular watercolors a lot of you guys said it's amazing i should test it out so i'm curious to see how they perform i'm super excited i there's so many paints so many things that i want to test out i just hope there's enough time to do that next thing is the white knights by nevskaya palitra it's also something i got sent to because i don't know i just reached out to me and asked if i'm interested to test them out and i said yes yeah. so i'm really thankful that they sent it to me it's a set with 24 different colors in pants and it's actually a brand from my uh, my hometown in russia so it's from leningrad st petersburg i've seen so many artists using that and they were happy about it and a lot of you guys requested to test them out so yeah i'm super excited another thing that i discovered in one of the trade shows i went to is that a metallic interference colors by royal talents i was super hyped and i was super eager to get them it was so difficult to find it anywhere so i was so happy when i saw this set in my local art supplies shop this set comes with 12 different colors some of them are like very metallic but some are interference so when you paint it on white paper it looks totally different to when you paint it on black paper and you can create such cool effects the only problem is that it's a bit difficult to like you need to really practice with them because they look different when they dry and sometimes you need to plan ahead you don't really see exactly what you paint sometimes so it needs some adjustments but super cool so i really like the design with this black case super super fancy super elegant um yeah also a lot of you guys said i should really test out the whole wine watercolors it's also i think it's it's a japanese or korean yeah it's a japanese brand i got 24 colors and i also tested out in, in an older video and i also might say it's really really beautiful colors super saturated super pigmented and i really want to learn more about pigments and really learn about what is good and what is bad and in general it's better to get watercolors that only use one pigment to make the color because it, make, it makes them very vibrant, super pigmented, super super clean and bright. And the more pigments are mixed together, the muddier or like paler or muted the color is. And here, for example, I noticed they mixed different pigments together to make a certain color. And compared to other brands, I saw that they only use one pigment to make the similar color. So I'm really interested in testing out like side by side if there's any difference or how it will affect any mixing process of different colors and because i got really hyped and wanted to test out more metallic watercolors and see what i can create with them i decided to get new metallic watercolors by the brand called fine tech or lately they are called coliro and i got different reds and pink tones blues greens and some fancier interference glittery colors to really have an option i must say it was not very cheap but i thought it's for science it's for research and now whenever i buy art supplies i never think of like wasting money i think of it more as in terms of investing in myself if i'm really interested in watercolors and i really want to learn more about it i have to buy watercolors and i have to test them out and compare them and really understand them and and as long as I'm using them and as long as they makes me happy, I don't think there is a problem with that. And because for metallic watercolors, it's best to use black watercolor paper. I got the black paper watercolor paper by Royal Talents. And this is something that they sell with the Interference watercolor set. But I must say, I really don't like this paper. Not because it's bad, like it has like doesn't hold any water or anything like that it's more of the texture of the paper and i really don't like when you paint on the paper and then like it has these waves in it and whenever you paint over it the paint just sinks down and creates puddles inside those lines and it just 
doesn't look nice and I don't think I would repurchase that because it's just not fun to use and it's it's a great idea but I wish they used a different texture for that and that's why I went and bought another set by Hane Muted. it's actually a sketching set for like charcoal and stuff like that pastel even maybe it's smooth but it's like not made for watercolor so you can't expect the same thing from that but I really hope to find a good black watercolor paper so I can really have fun painting with my metallic watercolors because this Royal Talents paper is nothing I would really like buy again. And last watercolors that I wanted to test out is by the brand called Gold Class Mission. And because they're so expensive, I thought it's best to get a dot card again and test them out. So I got like a huge set of colors well, dot cards and again it comes on these papers where you can just watch it and see how these colors perform how they look and here it's cool that they also say what pigments they use if they're how light fast they are even they say if it's organic or if it's inorganic if it's transparent if it's opaque and staining or not staining so i'm super excited to test them out because the colors are beautiful and they seem to be popular brand among artists. Another cool thing that I discovered is also in the category paints is water soluble oil paints. I already used them in one of my last videos where I tried to paint myself and I haven't really painted anything with real proper oils where you need like solvents and stuff like that. So I went and bought the water soluble paints just to get in touch with this new medium to see how they react, how they feel. Even the brushes, when you clean them with just water, they are super clean afterwards. You don't really need anything that makes them even, even cleaner. So if you're new to oil paint and you are a little bit overwhelmed by all the different things you need and all the smell and how toxic it can be, why not test out the water soluble paint? You can get them from different brands like Winsor Newton, I think there are some other brands and this paint is by the brand Royal Talents and I was really happy with it so if you're interested you can check this out or any other brand that is available to you and some of you guys also asked me if there's any way to seal or protect your watercolor painting I personally have never used anything like that because I usually put it into a folder or it's in my sketchbook but I discovered this fixative fixative for watercolors. So you spray it on top of your painting. It's supposed to protect the painting from humidity and dust. It's colorless, not yellowing and age resistant, fast drying. So it sounds really good. And I wanted to test it out and tell you guys if it's any good or how I feel about that. Also another thing that I discovered when I went to a trade show is watercolor canvases. Not just your regular canvases that are primed for watercolors it's actually made of some special paper and it's by the brand called MHP or MHP it's a brand from Berlin so it's made in Germany and it's super cool because the surface is paper and I've seen so many different artists using them it looks so cool I haven't tested it out yet they sent it to me to test out because I talked to them at the trade show and was really interested so thank you guys again for sending it to me I'm super interested, super excited to test it out. Made especially for watercolors, it, you can use wet and wet techniques. It comes in different sizes, so you can buy anything that fits your painting. And because I've been using watercolor paper by Honey Millie for the last, I don't know, also more than 10 years, I wanted to expand my horizon and learn more about different options. And that's why I bought a bunch of new papers from Winsor Newton, 100% cotton, that's why I got it and I wanted to test out how it performs. I also got a few different papers from the brand called Claire Fontaine. I've been using their sketch, not sketchbooks, notebooks to plan out things for also like 10 years or something. I have like a huge, huge pile of them with all my YouTube ideas, YouTube video ideas and plans, plan out stuff. And I reached out to them and asked if they could send me some papers to test out and I was like sure. So thank you for being so generous um, in sending me all these watercolor pads and notebooks. And I got the Aquarelle Cardinal watercolors paper. I also got with rough texture another one with also cold press paper, watercolor paper and uh, like more of a notepad. And also very interesting it's a 
flamboyant. 50% cellulose and 50% cotton. It has a very interesting texture. It's like extra rough and irregular. So it's great for dry brushing, I think, or some other like vile painting. So I'm super interested to see how it looks when I paint on it. And when I was at the trade show, I also talked to Hanemühle and they just recently launched a new product and it's the zigzag book. It's a sketchbook that's really cool. You open it like that and then when you sketch on it, it opens like this. So it's good for, for example, if you need more space than this, for example, you can just open it up and you have more space to paint. I think that's such a cool idea and gives you more options how you want to lay out your painting or how you want to tell a sketch story when you're out and about. So I'm very excited to test it out. Last but not least, I got something that is a little bit way out of my comfort zone because it's something I'm not really used that often and that's Bosca pens. I got a huge pot, a huge box of pens and I used it for a few things to test out. I created different paintings on black paper. It was really cool to see how colorful and how vibrant those colors looked on black paper. Some pens were a little bit, I don't know, they were streaky. Some pens were really like very covering, very opaque. They're no problem, not streaky at all. But somewhere I don't know like what's wrong with them. If you guys have any experience with Posca pens, let me know because I have no idea. I pump them like crazy, I shake them like crazy and they're just a little bit, not even opaque, they're a little very, a little bit transparent and they're streaky. I don't know, it's supposed to be, are they not all equal? Let me know. Another thing that I got a while ago is a porcelain mixing palette for watercolors that I forgot to mention earlier. It's made out of porcelain and has a lot of different wells to mix your paint and I'm so in love with that. I completely stopped using plastic mixing palettes because it's just a lot more difficult to get the right amount of paint. You get all these small beads of colors, not like a pool of colors. So I switched to porcelain and I'm in love. And if you guys are wondering what I'm talking about, why, what, why is plastic palettes bad? You can check out the video right here where I talk about things that I wish I knew sooner when it comes to watercolors. I cover all the different things that I wish someone told me when I just started out. So I hope this will be very helpful for you guys. Let me know in the comments if there's anything in particular you want me to test out and make a video about. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I will see you soon. Bye.